Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at a piece of tech that really hits home for me. I love grilling, and one of the things I hate is cleaning the grill. Let's check out the GrillBot. So as you guys know, we look at a lot of technology on the channel, and you know one of the things that I found really interesting is when uh, the GrillBot company reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested in taking a look at our GrillBot? I immediately said, absolutely yes. Um, I have a grill in my backyard, and I use it quite often, and I'm the kind of guy that also grills during the winter. I'm in the Midwest, so we get snow, but I grill all year round. And it's a pain in the butt to clean. So having something that looks like a Roomba before your grill, caught my attention. And I say it's tech because it actually cleans your grill on its own. So it has batteries, it has electronics, and it has some smarts too. So let's go ahead and check it out. So before taking a look at the unit, I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the uh, key points that are showing here in the advertising. So uh, this unit does have the ability to clean your grill automatically. It has three modes, a 10 minute, 20 minute, and a 30 minute mode that you'll control by just pressing this button once for 10, two for 20, three for 30. Pretty simple. It uh, requires charging, so you'll charge it for 30 minutes, uh, actually eight hours the first time. And then you'll put it in your grill and you'll be able to uh, get your grill clean multiple times. And the duration of the cleaning periods or how long the battery lasts between charges is going to be based on you know do you do a 10 cycle 20 minute cycle or 30 minute cycle uh, it's designed to work in your grill even if your grill is warm so as long as it's under 250 degrees you can put it in there but you know let your grill cool off a little bit now let's take a look at the unit itself all right so now as you look at it this is where you get why I made the reference of one of those uh, robot vacuum cleaners because it looks just like one it's round it rotates. It has these bumpers. Let's hold it right here. Bumpers on each side that are going to protect uh, your grill surface, especially as it's bumping around and cleaning. It has uh, two type of, of cleaning bristles, right? It has one that is for stainless steel, and then this one, which is a brass, which is a softer uh, material, especially if you have those type of grills that have the uh, enamel on top of it. You just don't want it to whisk it away. Uh, these are removable, so if you push this thing in here, this comes out, and when it comes out, you can actually wash these in your dishwasher or just put them in soap. You do have a charging port right here, and then what you have is your power area here. So uh, literally, all you do is you put this in your grill, you put the cover, you press this button once, twice, or three times, depending on your duration, and you let it go to town. Now, one thing I'll mention as I'm looking at this is you notice how uh, how much the surface is. So notice where my hand is right here and where the grill, um, actually the, br the bristles come out. Um, I have a sense that this is not going to get really, really deep into your grill grates because you notice it's probably going in maybe, I don't think quite an inch in. So you may still have some food left over or you know some grease like really deep and that's where your your brush is gonna come in uh, you know real handy. Uh, but we'll see how this works because you can see this is gonna rest on the grill surface and you can see how far these things go in. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how it works. All right, so this is my grilling area. I haven't grilled, uh, I think it's been a week now. And what we're going to do is just see how the grill bot works. Uh, you'll notice uh, as I'm putting it down here uh, how far down the bristles go. So we'll put it over here in the side a little bit so you can see. It does go down slightly. It doesn't go all the way. So if you have something that's trapped uh, further down, it's probably not going to grab it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it up. And you do have a couple uh, minutes of time that it's going to kind of pause so you notice I press there the timer I'm gonna put it for 10 minutes and you know it just starts walking working um, again let's go ahead and start it up again we'll pause that out see how we do that so I'm just gonna press and hold and it stopped all right so we're gonna do it one more time and it looks like it's counting down let's see if it's gonna start we'll close the door and we'll just let it start up all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start up the process again. I'm going to put it for 10 minutes. I'm going to close the door, and then we're going to let it go. Now, one thing I'll tell you, I hear, and I'm going to switch audio sources. You do hear it working in the background and it bumping. It's almost like um, there's a rattle going on. Let's go ahead and switch audio. Now, since I'm in the outside, you're going to hear some of the wind. Uh, it's, I'm in the Midwest. I'm in Chicago. So we're starting to get cold out here. So we have a lot of wind and the temperatures change. 
But this is what you can hear. Let me get a little quiet so you can listen. Right. So we're going to let it run its 10 minutes and then we'll come back and see um, how well it's done. All right, so how well did the grill bot do? So you saw the previous shot. Let's go ahead and get a little closer right here so you can see the grill. Did a really nice job over here. In the back here, I don't know if it did that well of a job. You notice over there in the corners, it um, didn't do well over here, but it definitely did a nice job over here cleaning this stuff up. Now this was only 10 minutes. So um, potentially, you know, giving it another 10 minutes, it may be able to do a better job. I'll go ahead and look at that. Now taking a look at the grill bot itself, you'll notice that the bristles um, are dirty, so it looks like it was doing what it needed to do. So I'm going to leave it here for another 10 minutes, check back and see how it does. So after giving it some more time, the grill mob did a decent job um, cleaning the grill. It still had some difficulties in those corners that I mentioned, and um, a couple things to attribute it uh, to it not being able to do such a great job. First of all, I do have uh, the bristles that I got on my review unit didn't include the type of bristles that would probably be the best appropriate for the surface that I was cleaning. So my grill is a stainless steel grill and I think that these are more for the ceramic type um, grill cleaning which is a softer you know uh, type cleaning method uh, because you don't want it to damage the ceramic on your grills. So uh, but that being said I thought it's a it's a cool tool um, if it's something that if, if it's something that you really don't like to do like cleaning your grill after you use it uh, this could be something that you'd be interested in. I really like the whole automation part of it. I like the fact that it could be just do it on its own. And uh, despite the fact that it was making a lot of noise in the grill, it didn't damage anything or any of the internals. It's, it's loud, but it didn't damage anything. So this concludes my review of the grill bot. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down there in the comment area. If you like this review, thumbs up, guys. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.